Welcome back to the Gatherers Gallery. Uh, we are here to celebrate Scotland's national poet, Rabbi Burns. It's his special day on Monday. Corey and Barrow have sent us some fantastic wines and we're gonna try and work out what goes best with our Burns menu. Uh, this is a menu that we put together. Uh, we've got Cullen skink, smoked haddock soup. Uh, we've got haggis, obviously, our own haggis. Uh, and we've got mulled cheddar from the Hebrides. So we're gonna see which of these wines is the perfect match for a burned supper. We will also have a little dram or two just to see if whiskey is actually the preferred tipple, which I know our friends north of the border will be advocating. So here goes. So Cullen Skink, this is our version. It is smoked haddock with leeks, potatoes, we, we put some croutons and some chives there. It's beautifully simple soup, delicious. Uh, it, it, we make it by essentially making a very thick leek and potato soup and then we poach the haddock in some milk separately and then we add that milk and then the haddock to the soup. So it's, it's got some wine challenges maybe, but it's a delicious thing to start your Burns Night Supper with. On the wine front, we're going to Argentina with a Toronto Chardonnay. Uh, from uh, San Florentina. Torontes, uh, the sort of aromatic grape variety, does really well in Argentina, produces these wines a bit like sort of Muscat or Gewurztraminer. And then we're going a little bit way to a little bit more serious with the Lane Block 1A Chardonnay from Adelaide Hills. Looking at these wines, similar colors. I'll try the Torontes first. Nice and fresh. See how it goes with smoked fish. Chives might be a challenge. It's refreshing. The smoked fish is definitely a challenge for the wine, but um, maybe that's the aperitif. It, it, it maybe knocks out a bit of the flavor of, of the wine. Looking at the Lane Chardonnay, uh, these guys make fantastic reds and whites. Probably a better match, this one. There's, there's enough weight, there's enough depth and, and concentration in this one. Definitely my choice for the Cullen Skink. Um, but maybe have this one as the aperitif. So here's our uh, chieftain of the pudding race, our haggis. Uh, it is a very British haggis, this one. I know that's going to upset our friends north of the border, but we've made it with uh, Welsh offal, lamb offal. Uh, we've made it in London. The oats are from Ireland. Cut it open ceremoniously. I'm not going to do the ode to the haggis because I obviously don't have the right accent. But uh, let's go. Looking good. And we have two wines to try with it. And again, it's quite a global enterprise, this one. We're in Romania with the Sanziana Merlot. In Spain with Bodegas Valero Carignana. We also have a Dram. Uh, this is Orkney's finest 12-year-old uh, malt. Uh, you can probably work out the distillery. Um, and so we're going to see, I know the Scots are adamant that whiskey is the best drink with haggis, but we're also going to give red wine a shot. Sanziana Merlot, this is from the Recas Cramel Winery. Uh, very old vines they have there. This is delicious, it's got really lovely aromatics. Fresh, simple, but delicious. Uh, this wine is from the Carignana region and the grape itself is Carignana, uh, which the, the region gave its name to the grape. The nice thing about this, it's got five years bottle age. It's definitely more um, serious perhaps, more, more, more intense than the, the Merlot. Uh, there's some, some herbal notes there, but both have good acidity. I'm thinking they're gonna be, well, hopefully they're gonna go well with, the, with our haggis. So the haggis we put Obviously the sheep offal, that's the pluck. Uh, there are oats. We put a little bit of beef into ours. Um, some spices. This one isn't stuffed into the stomach of the sheep as the recipe with, uh, as tradition demands, but into what's known as the ox bung. Uh, I'll let you look that up online to see which bit of the, <laughs> which bit of the cow that is. And then of course we've got the, the mashed potato and the bash neeps. It's neeps, aka Swede, uh, 
Um, one of my favorite vegetables. This is heavy, rich, intense, and the kind of lightness and the acidity of the Sanziana kind of floats over it and refreshes. It's a tough call, but I think the Bodega Solero wins it. It's got enough pepper in there. So the herbal notes of the, uh, of the Valero, I think is perhaps just wins it by uh, one round. Giving the Scots a go. Uh, whiskey, I've diluted this 50-50. I like the plate of food with the drink because it, it feels very uh, uh, appropriate. As, as, a, as a food and, and drink match, it doesn't work for me because the whiskey dominates too much. So there's too much, it's too spirity, it's too heavy for the, uh, for the food itself. So my, my choice, um, and I hope your choice, is Bodegas Valero, the Carignano with Haggis, Neeps and Taddies. It's the last course in our burn supper. Uh, and we've got some beautiful Isle of Mull cheddar here from uh, the Isle of Mull, funnily enough. Deep in flavour, it's got lovely bits of crystal in it, a bit like Parmesan. Uh, great flavour, unpasteurised milk obviously. Uh, traditional oat cakes to have with it. And we're, we've paired it with a little onion chutney as well. Uh, this is one of my favourite cheeses from Scotland. I'm going to try it with the lane. And this is something we do quite often at Corny Mero. We go back to the white wine. If we do serve cheese, the white wine and the cheese is a great combination. And that definitely, the acidity works with that. It's a lovely combination. Merlot versus whiskey. Just to see which we think is going to be the best. There's a sweetness in the fruit there that works well with the chutney and the cheese. That's definitely, actually, that's possibly a two plus two equals five uh, wine match, wine and food combination, which is uh, quite hard to get. But I think the whiskey deserves a turn as well, particularly as with there are, I know there's many of you watching from Scotland. Mm, that's difficult. I'm quite liking both of those flavors, but that one is really good actually. Oats, whiskey, mulled cheddar, onion chutney. If you've got whiskey to hand, maybe have a glass of red and a whiskey with it, that's possibly the answer. Wishing you all a fantastic Burns night. Slanjuar.